Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I don't spend much words on the thanks for the meeting. You know me long enough that you would know what I would say if I would have more time, <laughs> since we already lost 10 minutes. <laughs> I have been asked to lead the discussion on experiences of regional environment governance. Also, I must say that I am not very familiar with this area. I was always much more dealing, and this was taking time for the global question of the global governance. Nonetheless, I am thankful to the organizers of the conference who have given me the opportunity to learn at least something. Please don't expect too much from my side until I have heard from our table who is country not round. Perhaps for my own education, it is good that some of the panelists here are old friends. And some of the topics, such as climate change, Antarctica, Antarctica, are familiar to me. I was involved in the discussion and the negotiations of the protocol of the environment protection for the Antarctic Treaty from the first to the last day. I will never forget the final meeting in Madrid for two reasons. <coughs> first, the negotiations we could finish very successful. The meeting was very well led and the result was commemorative. Second, during the stay in Madrid, I was robbed by a broad, an, an broad daylight while sitting in the lobby of my hotel. So, it's an unforg unforgettable time. I had now been request requested to move to the Arctic. And mainly by the, uh, mainly by IOCN, first by the Commission and now by the Secretariat. Too. But I have, I've, it was, conf was uh, I have realized what I was knowing before, but not so strong, that the whole, that the issues facing the high north are much different than in the Arctic, much different. And some people are coming to me, oh, you've been dealing with the Arctic, Antarctic, we will deal with the Arctic too. No, 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 no. It's something completely different. The interplay of national sovereignty and environmental governance is something that I had to take much more into account than in the Antarctic where we had uh, <coughs> we can say lost leases, uh, a different situation. And I must say, as uh, chairman of the IOCN Law Commission Arctic Task Force, I have had really to see several points from, from a different side. This leads me to the implementation and picks up the proceeding panels. In my experience, governance is intrinsically related to the success of regional, national, and local institutions to interpret. And I like to repeat it, also in view to the implementation of policy and all, and all the different related, uh, respective levels. However, 
measuring these achievements becomes more and more difficult as you move down the levels of administration. And the witness of varying ways of implementation is undertaken. You see, you can have an easy report from a state explaining very good what he is all doing in the implementation committee. He is hiding all the difficulties, he is showing all what, what the nice thing what has happened, and when you go more in deeper in the, in the administration, you come in Germany to the states and then to the <coughs> communities, it all looks different. And I think this is a very important point when we are speaking of about compliance and implementation. We have compliance committees. I have been involved myself in creating some of the compliance committees. But we must care for that we are successful with the compliance committees. Otherwise, the governments who are anyway have a resistance against compliance committees will not further support us in creating new compliance committees. I think and I'd like to make an appeal from what we heard before, that we really need uh, a comparative, neutral study on the complain compliance processes and the, the, how these committees are working. And I, see, I will, will, can promise you that fight Custer for the um, Aarhus uh, Convention, and also Patrick Sell, who we, we started this process on creating compliance committees, will help everybody who will start a neutral comparative study on the success of such committees. This will be a tremendous help for us for the future and uh, also guarantee that we are successful and not losing uh, the possibilities for this. I'd like just to finish this remark in saying it is a tremendous task to consolidate and unify the complex of fragmented environmental governments architecture to effect positive results on all levels. I look forward to this panel shedding some lights <coughs> on how regional environmental governments can be bridged this divide. And I really hope I can learn also something from this. And I'd like to repeat my wish for a study on the procedural processes for compliance committees. Thank you. So, I then first give the floor to my longtime friend uh, Scavazzi.